hope you're all doing super well. So first of all, happy 2015. I have no idea how last year went by so fast, but it's a new year and this is going to be a little bit different from the videos that I usually make. It's going to be kind of a sit down and talk to you guys kind of video and I'm going to talk to you about how to make 2015 your best year ever. So I'm going to give you a bunch of tips on how to kind of organize your life and make sure you have an amazing year this year. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started with my first tip. And my first tip is to take care of your body. I cannot emphasize how important that is because how you take care of your body and how you feel kind of just changes everything in your life. Wow, that made a lot of sense. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that when you take care of your body and you're healthy, you feel amazing and you feel like you can take anything on, so make sure you take care of your body. So my first tip for that is to stay hydrated and drink a lot of water. I know that a lot of people don't drink water unless they're thirsty, and that's bad because when you're thirsty, it means that you're already dehydrated. So just make sure you start drinking a little bit more water every single day at a time. And my favorite tip for drinking water is to have a cute water bottle with you at all times that reminds you to drink water so I always carry my water bottle around and this is by the brand Hydro Flask. I've had a ton of water bottles but I really like this one because it's insulated and there's a ton of different brands that are insulated it doesn't have to be this one but I like insulated water bottles because it keeps my water cold and I don't like drinking warm water so I carry this with me around all the time and this kind of reminds me to drink water and I'm always hydrated so carry a cute little water bottle around to remind you to drink water. And then my second tip for having a healthier body is to be active. And by be active, I don't mean that you have to go to a gym every single day and just kind of be a bodybuilder body all of a sudden. I like to go to the gym at least three times every single week for approximately an hour or an hour and a half. But it doesn't mean that you have to be a bodybuilder this upcoming year, not at all. All that it takes is to literally take out 10 minutes of your day and be active. And you don't even have to leave your room if you don't want to. There's a ton of different fitness videos on YouTube. I really like Blogilates and you can just pull up your laptop or your computer, load a video and literally just work out from your room. You don't even have to leave your room and you'll start feeling a difference in your body because when you're active, your body just feels amazing. So my next tip is to eat healthier. And again, you don't have to stop cold turkey. You don't have to all of a sudden eat only vegetables and protein, not at all. You have to have a balanced diet. And I feel like the easiest way to do this is to kind of do it a little bit at a time every single day, whether it's just eliminating one junk food meal a week or adding in one serving of vegetables every single day, just kind of make tiny, tiny changes that'll help you kind of progress into a healthier eating lifestyle, if that makes sense. You don't have to like give up your favorite foods all of a sudden. Just start incorporating healthier alternatives. And if you don't like vegetables or if you think you don't like healthy foods, just give it a try. My dare, no, it's not a dare. My challenge to you is to try at least one new food every single month this year that you've never tried because you think you don't like. And just try healthier foods out. I don't know why I said and. That's basically it for that tip. So then my last tip in this category of taking care of your body, I feel like it's the most important tip of all of them, is to start loving yourself because I know a lot of people have problems with feeling confident and obviously I'm not saying you have to be confident 100% of the time, it's not human, we all have our down days and it's normal to not feel your best every single day. What I'm trying to say is that I want you guys to realize that you are giving your bodies for a reason and you have a purpose here on this earth no matter what you believe in. I feel like you were given a wonderful, magnificent body and you can do great things with it and you have to start loving it or loving it more and it'd be a great time to start this year because when you feel amazing and your body feels amazing and you feel comfortable with yourself, you can do great things. And it sounds cheesy, but it's totally true. So what I want you guys to do is to grab three post-it notes of your choice or paper and cut it up whatever you want to do and I want you to write down your three favorite things about yourself and then you're gonna take those notes and you're going to stick them on your mirror where you do your makeup every single day or on your bathroom door just someplace that you walk by every single day and I want you to read those three things and remind yourself that you're amazing and you love yourself and just do that I don't know how to finish that sentence Basically, like I've already said like five times, when you feel amazing and you feel happy in your body, you can do amazing things and that's what we want to do in 2015. We want to do amazing 
great, wonderful things. So my next tip for making 2015 your best year ever is to work on your goals and your dreams, whatever they may be. And I know it can be a little bit overwhelming at times, especially if you have really big dreams, but now is the time to start working on them and kind of cut them up in tiny chunks and work on those tiny chunks during this entire year and hopefully at the end of the year you reach your goal or you do whatever you want to do. So what I like to do and what I find helpful is to have a little notebook with me at all times and write down my goals whether it's what I want to do by the end of the month or what I want to do by the end of the following three months or what I want to do at the end of the year, writing them down kind of makes them more concrete and more real and you can see them and you can cross them out and there's nothing more that makes me feel more accomplished than crossing something off my list. So I really like to write down all my goals. And then what I also want you to do in this category is to make a list of all the things that you succeeded at during 2014 and all the things that you failed at during 2014 and kind of write down why you think you failed at those things and why you you succeeded at the things you succeeded at and then you can use that list to kind of make sure you do what's right during 2015 so you can just keep doing whatever you did right during 2014 and eliminate what you did wrong so you can make this year even better than last year if that makes sense I feel like when I fail at something it's kind of an opportunity to learn from it so I make sure I write down what I did wrong so I don't do it again and that way when you fail it's kind of a learning experience and it's much more than just failing if that makes sense so make sure you do that list so you know what you have to change for this year and make it an even better year than last year so last but not least in this category I want to tell you guys that if you want to reach a goal the best way to do it is to organize that large goal into a list of smaller goals for example if my goal is to reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2015 which is an amazing goal okay that's gonna be my goal so what I would do is I would divide it because it's a pretty big goal I would divide it into smaller goals per month so let's just say that my goal for January would be to post four new videos that you guys requested and then my goal for February would be to post five new videos that you guys requested and so on since I am taking a really large goal so it doesn't seem overwhelming I just break it into pieces and those pieces seem more achievable if that makes sense and that way I can kind of gradually work towards that large goal I hope that made sense but I feel like that's the best way of tackling a goal especially if it's really really big I know that sometimes what you want to do seems overwhelming but I want you guys to know that you can totally do it just break it into smaller sections and take those one at a time and before you know it you're gonna do it you're gonna reach your goal because I believe in you and you believe in you okay so then my last section which is my absolute favorite for making 2015 your best year ever is to radiate positivity and I cannot stress how important that is to me. I feel like people that are positive and have really good vibes attract those good vibes as well and good things happen to that kind of people. I feel like if you're negative and if you're always talking bad about your friends or if you're always complaining about how other people act or if you're just a negative person overall, then you kind of contaminate your own life with all that negativity and you attract negativity and bad things will happen to you. So I feel like you have to be really positive and believe in yourself believe in what you're doing, do everything at 100% of your effort, and just radiate that positivity, be the light, be the positivity that everybody wants to be around. And I guarantee that your year will be amazing if you try to be at least a little bit more positive or just be 100% positive. Just be happy and you'll see that you'll make new friends, you'll attract amazing opportunities no matter what you do, and I promise that if you're just a little bit more positive this year, then a bunch of amazing things will happen to you. Also in this category, I feel like you have to surround yourself with people that will make you a better version of yourself. I feel like it's no use to be around negative people that only make you sad and only make you feel like you can't do what you want to do. It's not good at all. So I want you to kind of distance yourself from those negative people and make friends with positive people that make you feel good about yourself because I feel like that's what life is about. It's just just making other people happy and surrounding yourself with people that make you happy and that want you to succeed and kind of push you to be a better person if that makes sense. And then the last thing in this category that I want to tell you guys is to try new things and when you try new things good things happen. 
I mean, I feel like if 2014 wasn't very good for you, then you must have been doing something wrong and you want to change all those things you did wrong and replace them with new things and try new things out and see if those new things work out for you. So it's always nice whether it's trying a new food like I told you guys earlier or going traveling to a new place or trying a sport out that you've never tried or just talking to a person that you thought you'd never be friends with. Who knows how it turns out. When you try out new things, you might receive really good outcomes in exchange for that. And I feel like you never lose by trying something new. If it doesn't work out, well, hey, just try something else out. New experiences in 2015, that's going to be our goal. Yours and mine. We're going to try new things out and we're going to make sure that this year is an amazing year. So that is basically it for all the tips that I have for you guys for making this year your best year ever. I'm going to kind of go over the main points again so you leave with them fresh in your mind. The first one is to treat your body well and take care of your body. Drink a lot of water, eat healthy, be active, and tell yourself that you're wonderful and beautiful every single day. And I feel like that way your body will feel good and you will feel good and you'll be able to do whatever you set your mind to. And then the next thing, and I kind of wrote them down so I wouldn't forget. So the next thing is to surround yourself with positivity, surround yourself with amazing friends and be that light, that positive influence that everybody wants to have in their life so you will attract amazing things in exchange for that and then also go for your dreams don't be afraid of anything this year try everything that you want to try out just go for it what's the worst that could happen the worst that could happen is that it doesn't go right and you can just change that and try again nothing is ever over until you stop trying I feel like I'm getting really really cheesy so the last thing I told you is to try new things out and that's gonna be our mantra for this year try new things out we're both gonna do it Okay, so my battery is dying, and that is basically it for all the tips that I have for making this year your best year ever. If you have any tips that I didn't mention in this video and you want to share with me and anybody else watching this video, make sure to leave them as comments down below. Also, leave me a big thumbs up if you found this helpful or if you plan on trying any of these tips out this upcoming year. And also, if you like these kind of videos where I sit down and talk to you guys, also leave me a thumbs up down below. I think that's everything I have to say. I wish you an amazing day, an amazing year, and I look forward to our journey together through this 2015 of trying new things out and making it an amazing year. I send a million kisses your way, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! Hey guys, I hope you're all doing super well and you're having a really, really good day. 